Pinhole camera is really a very simple device. This is just a cardboard box with tracing paper on a hole on this end. And on this end, it's got a black piece of paper with a tiny pinhole in it. And uh, you can see it's just a cardboard box. You can also consider just cutting up some black drain pipe and putting the tracing paper on one end and some black paper with a small pinhole in the other end. Traditionally, a carbon filament lamp is used for the pinhole camera, but these are quite hard to get hold of now. But if you're lucky enough to have some, they still work pretty well, although they do get quite hot. So if I put my pinhole camera in between, then we can see an inverted image of the filament appearing. And if I move it closer, we can see that the image gets larger. If I move it further away, we can see it gets smaller. You can substitute the carbon filament lamp for a compact fluorescent tube or a LED bulb with a shaped filament, but you want to make sure that it's obvious uh, which way up it might be when you're choosing your shape of alternative bulb. A nice little extension you can consider doing is making a second or even a third hole in the pinhole camera uh, end. Now if we view with the pinhole camera you can see that we get three images of the filament produced whereas before we were just getting one. The downside of doing this is that then the black piece of paper needs replacing. You can also do an extension after this of where you make a large hole in the end of the pinhole camera. So let's now make that into a large hole in the end of the pinhole camera. Now if we look at the carbon filament lamp, we're getting a very blurry image produced. If you're struggling to get it dark enough in your room to make the pinhole cameras work, you can wrap a black piece of paper around to shield the end which has got the screen on it. And now if we point that towards it, you can see that because the screen is shaded, it's easier to see the image that is being produced.